November 28, 2013. Guys, I'm getting a closer look at the uh, nucleus of Ison. Now, the image is upside down. That's the way it came in. Remember in the last video, you can flip it over. But guys, I'm going through the different temperatures here, different exposure times. And with this fan pattern that I'm seeing, and look at the hot spot, it's no longer in the tip as I go through this. The larger chunk is in the rear. That's telling me because we've got that fine point, and as I go through it, you'll see what a V and a fanned out pattern is that we've got a lot of debris here. And with this pattern and this tail fanning out, guys, we're going to have more than we expected. We're going to have to watch. We'll, we'll know more tomorrow, but this nucleus is not intact. Now, when McNaught did this and fanned out, Remember, if in the video, it was a giant fan. They could see it from Australia. We couldn't see it from the northern hemisphere. But normally, they say that when these satellites will, they will, some of them will go through the debris trail of a comet. It will take 30 minutes or an hour. But McNaught fanned out so wide with its debris trail that it took 18 days to go through that. Now, how will that affect the debris trail or any pattern that's about to come over us? It won't affect the debris trail that we're going to go through in January. But now that I sun is a turning and it's about to come over the earth, will this wide fan pattern affect the next few weeks? We're going to watch it, guys. It's a heads up. But this nucleus is not intact and we're, it's starting to fan out. Again, you can see the solar activity on the left. But what, the, because of the tip, I think that debris is leading it. The larger object is in the rear again. Even when I brighten the temperatures or take them down, the main object is still in the rear. And what could have happened under those extreme that extreme pressure and temperatures is that it disintegrated even further and we have multiple objects. Again, you would not have that V pattern with that large chunk in the rear. Heads up, guys. We're going to update this tomorrow. You be safe.